Hi, I'm Jeremy Grossman. Welcome to the Slay Network. This is Health Talk. Muscles are a vital part of our everyday life, more so than we're really consciously aware of. There are a couple different fiber types that we should take a look at. Let's do that now. Have you ever wondered why there's two types of meat, white and dark? You can also think of it as white and red meat. The muscle protein that gives it this color is myoglobin, an oxygen binding protein. There are three to four different fiber types. Today, we're gonna to talk about slow oxidative and fast glycolytic muscle fibers. Slow oxidative muscles are known as red muscle. These muscles are utilized during periods of time, usually longer than a minute. They utilize oxidative phosphorylation to produce energy. Because of this, they contain more mitochondria and have increased blood flow through capillaries, in addition to carrying myoglobin, which gives red muscle its color. Myoglobin is an iron and oxygen binding protein, and therefore, it allows for more oxygen transport throughout the muscle. In sum, red muscle creates low force output over long periods of time. Take a look here at a microscopic view of a muscle. Notice the red tint of the oxidative fibers due to the myoglobin protein present. The more red the protein gets, the more myoglobin is assumed to be present. Watch as Nicky stimulates the movement of a rower. The activity occurs in durations of well over a minute, the threshold time for use of oxidative muscle fiber. At times, rowing can last for hours. Therefore, upper body and arm muscles of these types of athletes must be fatigue resistant and also have the ability to transport oxygen. Fast glycolytic muscles are utilized during fight or flight situations where muscles need to work quickly and generate a lot of force. These muscles contain fewer mitochondria and show less blood flow through the capillaries as they use glycolysis to produce energy. Because these muscles hydrolyze ATP faster, they contain more calcium transporters in the sarcoplasmic reticulum and more binding sites for calcium. Therefore, they are able to replenish the calcium reservoir to better match demand. The head portion of myosin in white muscle hydrolyzes ATP much faster than red muscle and therefore red muscle can, cre can create less force but at the cost of doing this over longer periods of time. Watch as Nikki hits the ball up and down. Here she is utilizing her glycolytic muscles. She is generating a modest amount of force with rapid accelerations. The rapid generation of ATP coupled with high rate of cross bridge formation between muscle sarcomere proteins, actin and myosin, allows for this. This picture better helps to depict the physical differences seen between white and red muscle. Of course, this image is of a muscle that has both fiber types present. You can tell by the presence of the coloring in some cells that these contain myoglobin. An interesting fact is that humans can have mixed fiber types in a muscle, whereas reptiles usually only have one. Here we see another example of utilizing primarily glycolytic muscle types. As a golfer, Nikki has to swing incredibly fast and generate a significant amount of force in a short period of time. Again, this is achieved through a high rate of cross bridge formation. Thanks for tuning in, and we here at Health Talk hope you learned something new today. Stay tuned next week for Dr. Christopher Slay's lecture on alligator cardiology. And remember, don't be afraid to talk about your health.